Hi, Paul. Paul. Paul? Paul? You guys Hi, all Paul. lost the highs. Welcome to Paul Watch 2020. <laughs> we miss Paul. We know where, where Paul is. Where in the world is Paul? Pa Paul misses Chicago. being on, on the show, obviously. Chicago texture. Chicago architecture. <laughs> and you've lost me already. Fuck. <laughs> it's a podcast. It is. This is episode 141. Not that you needed to know that. Losers. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm Man. under a lot of I'm no, under a lot of stress. That's no, that's great. It's a great segue. We got uh, a lot of good comments on last week's episode, including <laughs> one. How is that a segue to comments? Uh, well, Come one on. comment in particular, right, Matt? No. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me call someone a loser for real later. Can't do that. No. But yes, no. we're gonna go to some comments, and I'm gonna say some stuff. But nobody's <laughs> gonna call somebody a loser. Hey, apparently, I no, 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 a really great loser. segue there. I bet you guys wish you didn't comment last week. All right, if you, you played the joke out, it all would have been fine. Hey, guess, you know, lots, you know <laughs> couldn't couldn't walk down that road with you. Sorry. Uh, lots of great comments. Well, Tons well, of we, comments. We, we could we could completely forget about the comments and leave everyone who commented in suspense. Who's the loser? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Uh, but thanks for commenting. A, a lot of condolences to the family of our uh, friend, New York Mike, which was nice to see. And uh, people just connecting with the one episode they got to see of him. And that's also solid. And uh, yeah, just thanks for commenting in general. And then uh, it was nice. Some people had a little mic comment and then separate comment talk about the episode and there was lots of episode comments too which was wonderful it was a milestone of comments mm -hmm. and then there one of those people are a loser no. we still don't know which one we're all <laughs> i mean end of the realm has plenty of uh, insulting segues like that but i don't call, call that on it <laughs> no. well that's good Maybe there's hope for us yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll only alienate a quarter of our audience this evening. Okay, so we had a great comment very early on. It was, um, it might have been the first comment we got on the video. Ooh. I'm always surprised about how many comments we get within between when the episode publishes and when I wake up that morning. You get a couple which, comments. Like, who are these people? They're waiting. They're they're more excited about this show than I am. Thank you. Thank you for that. Anyway, uh, Andres, for lack of a better pronunciation, uh, had a really great comment to start things off. And they mm -hmm. said that they pre-sticker all the pieces in the set. Let's assume it's a small set with not that many stickers, so it's feasible. I'm not talking about a gigantic set with a hundred stickers. But mm -hmm. Let's say they did a little speed champion set and they, they got all the parts. They flipped through the instructions. They found out what parts all the stickers go on to. They stickered all those parts, essentially turning um, blank pieces into printed pieces because you're going to treat them the same way you would a printed piece when building the set. And then they build the set. Mm. Like a and, loser. Uh, how no. did you feel about that, Matt? <laughs> well, first of all, I'll just say with the like, example Speed Champion set, um, although there's like five bags, I think there's two sticker sheets, one for each vehicle. So conceivably, you're planning to build one car at a time. You open two bags and you sticker them, you know, whatever. What I said uh, when I heard, read that comment was like, this doesn't sound like the kind of person who would accidentally kill somebody like if they're on trial it's for sure murder they, they plan <laughs> they plan their day is it's all premeditated yeah, yeah it's, there's no yeah. way it's not premeditated <laughs> <laughs> nah, i'm sure they're oh, it's premeditated and we're gonna laugh at me for saying speaking of losers what about this joke we're about to lay down on one of our, yeah. one of our devoted fans yeah oh man okay guys <laughs> Okay, thank you. I I found it quite interesting to. It's an interesting way to 
It is. It's it's like it's you know what? I can't say for certain, but I feel like that's the kind of thinking that Mike would have brought to like a UCS set. Was like, what if I just do it this way and then the whole process kind of gets switched around and it's a different experience. Yeah. I don't think any of us would ever thought of that. And then it's going to turn into Legos just going to eventually put all the pieces you have to put stickers on in their own bag and you can do that. And then they'll just print everything. So <laughs> that'll solve that problem. Then there won't we even be so stickers. much money on bags that we could just print them instead. <laughs> it's just going to come built in fucking styrofoam. <laughs> um, yes. Well, I would be okay with that. It's like, what's the point? We it's also just... got, um, we also got a lot of good feedback from uh, listeners in England who agreed that it's scourge and never scourge. You just, I'll say it again. You just sound like an asshole if you call uh, <laughs> scourge and the sweeps. Come on, who are you? Where did you don't, learn English? Don't worry about it. And uh, apparently also we we kind of know who built that giant elephant that was it Matt? Matt, did you find that? Just Google searching your heart away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, uh, Fabulous. Yeah, that was a, a lug mate of Blockhead UK, so go figure. <laughs> Um, we also found out about the Fair Packaging and Labeling Act of 1966, oh, which is true. why the U.S. or North American packaging has so much information that the rest of the world's packaging does not have. My question to that was, did Canada also pass a similar law, maybe around the same time? We do, and then we have we have our own laws that'll mean we end up with a different toy than you entirely as well. Like Generations Metroplex was a great example of said thing because I don't know when this became a thing or if I've ever even seen it applied to toys, but when Generation Metroplex came out, he said shit. He said, ah, oh, Metroplex heeds the call of the last primes when he pressed his thing, and he said cool stuff. In Canada, he just made a really loud distorted transform transforming sound. It was like <laughs> and then you hit it again, it just kind of rumbled and it was like Is that because they didn't, didn't st- want to have it in English and French? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm asking, that the the <laughs> prime finale. Like, <laughs> who knows what the fuck he would have said? I looked Just... up the uh, I looked up the Fair Packaging and Labeling Act, and it... damn, Ralph's on that Google shit. Yeah, well, hey, the FDLA, uh, man. The it requires the label to state the identity of the product, the name and place in business of the manufacturer or distributor and the net quantity of contents. And basically the law is uh, uh, to regulate interstate and foreign commerce by preventing the use of unfair or deceptive methods of packaging or labeling. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, sounds, like, uh, sounds like something targeting a different country altogether other than a Lego company, but there you go. Oh, it's just for everything, especially food, you know, how much food are you getting and showing like the actual size because they'll be like, Big juicy burgers, and you're right, like, yeah. you pull it out, and it's like this fucking big. These are sliders. Like, There's not even juice in this. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. So, uh, and it, it eventually came over to like protecting people a lot with food, like what's actually fucking in it, and all that yeah. stuff. It kind of encompasses all those things, and it extends further to like anything you buy, quantity, weight, whatever. So that uh, the commenter that uh, gave us that little bit of information and talk, not a loser. Uh, no, not at all. No, uh, I, I love the second part of the the comment. There was uh, uh, if uh, if women had anything to do with this, the passage of this, it probably it was probably a Mary and not a Karen, as Mary <laughs> was the most popular name for babies born in 1936, and this okay, would yeah. have been 30 years old in 1966. Really, really knows the uh, the stats of the of the sixties here. I love it. Yeah, great. 
So is that suggesting that uh, Karens nowadays are right about 30 years old? Because that seems too young. <laughs> I, I think it also implies that uh, Karen's a popular name in the context of, of then that's just statistically more likely that the people who complain would be called Karen. But I don't know. Is it more about the haircut than the name? Do Karens just have that haircut? Oh. Is, is it the scuff? Who just... Oh, fuck. The big boy just fucking... The big boy just laid down. <laughs> Dead. Bump, <laughs> <laughs> bump. What's so, so, anyways, Mary's... We hate Mary's, too. We, we hate Mary's and Karen's. Thank you for clearing that up. Uh, I, big Earl, I, big Earl like to say that it's never too early for Scream Dog. Yeah, that is true. It's never too early for a little Scream Dog. I did a quick Google of what's the average age of Karen Karen's, and I found a page that said the median living girl named Karen was born around 50, 1960 40. and ranges from 51 to 65 years old. So you're right. A little, a little young for to be 30 years old. Well, then, yeah, maybe. Damn Karens. It's mean, like, I'm 31, and I don't see a lot of Karens that are my age. I don't think I Again, ever I really ask them how old they are, because that's impolite. <laughs> um, well, the only other one I wanted to... I kind of lost the comment now, uh, but... Uh, kind of lost Kenny because every time we talk, I get buried. He gets buried. Not from his own doing, though. He's not a, he's not a timid guy. He just, his mic is timid. <laughs> Where was it? Because uh, I want to credit who said it. Well, I don't know. But somebody said um, they liked the energy that Mike brought to the episode that he was in. I saw that one, too. Was it in talk? Yeah, it was. All right. So I was looking at all the other comments because we had already looked at that comment. That was a good part. So comments, we did them. We haven't done them in a while. There haven't been that many. It's been That's a while. Okay. Since I read a comment. Uh, I should also Bye, mention that Forever Sorting with Kevin A. Hinkle wrapped up. <gasps> it wrapped up. So if anyone's really interested in listening to that whole 73, Three episode saga. Jeez, did it? Did he? Is it forever sorting? If it hasn't, I know. Like it uh, no, it's, 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 it's kind of shifted over to interviewing a different person, so it's still forever sorting, but it's now it's with a different person, different subject matter. I understand. Uh, it's acceptable terms. <laughs> yeah, uh, I accept for now. I, accept. I relent. But if you if you want to listen to the whole Kevin Hinkle story, I recommend it, but. For a I kind type of, of I've been listening to it for most of the time it's been airing in real time, so it's never been that big of a Chore. bite a bite to take. But I don't want to say I don't recommend jumping into it now because I don't. I don't I'm just I don't, saying I'm not, if, if if this is your first episode of building up to it, it's not going to make any sense. Go back, watch every single one. That's <laughs> nah. enough to do. <laughs> no, I mean this is more evergreen. On purpose than than if, forever sorting. But, if this was their first first episode of building up to it, they they shut it off after we called everybody a loser. No. If they <laughs> shut it off, they are a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll never know because they shut it off. Yeah. Can't alienate them if they left. Uh, so I'm not in the habit of telling people, "Hey, you know what you should do? Go listen to 73 hours of something," because that's um, just that's. That's not a nice thing to do. That's what people do when they suggest TV shows, though, and I'm like, I don't got time for that. Yeah. True. It's it's interesting, and I think we we have a lot of instances on this show where we reference what has happened in Kevin's career, and I think it's, uh, they, they accompany each other well, the two shows. And uh, Brick Smith is interviewing somebody else now, and I don't know that I'm gonna. I don't know that I'm gonna care. Sorry. 
Yeah, a, this is where we part ways, and it's just you and the Hankler walk off holding hands. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to hear Kevin's story. I heard Kevin's story. Who's next? I don't know. And they get on. two episodes to uh, impress you. Yeah, I'd, sure. I'll give it a shot. But if I'm not interested in, in the story... You would never really have thought that Kevin's story would have been like super interesting, but it was. So that that could certainly be the case with future subject matter yeah. on that show. I'm gonna say the the chances, the like the betting odds of Chris continuing to listen is two to Ve- one. Vegas odds two to one. Yeah, underdog for not the Hinkler, whoever isn't the Hinkler. That sounds generous because, like, I I think it's a really low chance that I'm gonna continue. I think to I think the stuff. Vegas odds are like twenty four to one. Yeah, I, I'd go up to there. I'm bad at odds, like how they're actually listed. If you're betting money, I don't know any of that stuff. Well, so. if it, if it's a long shot, you'd make more on the payoff. So yes, you gotta I, go. You gotta go up with those are rookie numbers. You gotta get those numbers up. <laughs> <laughs> so last week we. At the end of the show, we said, hey, wasn't there one other thing we wanted to talk about? And we all forgot what it was. I mean, I don't really want to talk Several about Several days later, we, we thought of it, it and we decided we're still not going to talk about it. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> now, we, we wanted to touch on the new. Uh, are they don't considered 18 plus, Ralph? Because oh, you know how they're doing this whole 18 plus push to convince a that they think highly of them. But I, I did see Lego. some some marketing that said it was like for adults, but I don't know if it is 18 plus marked on the packaging like the law states it should say. But, what could um, they possibly be talking about? <laughs> yeah. So it, Lego, I don't think I don't think kids should see this. I yeah. don't think they should build it. I don't think they should play with it. I don't think they should even see it. I think it's wrong. <laughs> So Lego is doing another product line oh that God. I really don't care for product lines that are you buy it, you build it, you put it, don't ever even think about interacting with it again. It's done, Excellent. it's finite, it is destined to be on that shelf or on that wall. And it's their Unless new Unless we wanted to I hope it comes with two fucking brick separators, by the way. <laughs> uh, because I think, you know, I just found a, a value for it. So we're talking about the mosaics, if you didn't figure it out yet. <laughs> so you can build the Iron Man three ways, but imagine, imagine building it one way and be like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Boop, 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 boop. Just pull off 3,000 studs real quick. And build the other one. That's crazy. It's crazy. We know the dimensions of like the size. Doesn't matter. No, and I was, <laughs> I, I was, um, I Vicky and I go on a lot of walks, and I wind up just talking at her about a bunch of <laughs> subjects that I'm sure she has no interest in, but I'm just talking, and she's just agreeing. So sounds I was like, like a, sounds like a strong relationship there. Yeah. So I was saying. So it's on this base plate, right? But what if the base plate has like a hang hook on the back, like a picture frame, and then it's no longer can be a base plate, and it's super specified to be this wall-mounted thing, and then it's like you're not going to be able to sell those things ever on BrickLink or anywhere if you parted one of these out. So it's just that's a throwaway, and you're relying on the price of all these studs, which is only going to deflate because it's like, look how many more studs we're putting into the market, and they're cheap to begin with. And then I said, well, maybe it's a regular base plate and they have this special plastic and uh, adhesive strip peel off uh, hanger you put on the back. So you get to put it on there yourself that you throw away and then you have a base plate, which you can actually use or sell or whatever. We'll see if it's it's proprietary mounting uh, base plate or if it's a regular base plate plus an adhesive hanger. Hopefully it's the latter. Looks but, like it comes in a frame. Well, you you build the border of it on mm. the front, but I don't I don't know I if it's a, like a one piece here it is and this is for making two dimensional Lego art and nothing else. 
then what it's bugs just gonna me is like in the Lego shop, the first image you see is all four of them and it's 150 bucks, but really you only get to build one of the beetles at the fucking at a fucking time. It doesn't even so yes. build one of four unique portraits of the iconic band members with this Lego art, the Beatles. So if you want them all, that's six hundred dollars, and that's they're selling. There's a set, and the it allows you to relish a creative escape from everyday life. It's a relaxing project, everybody. <laughs> so it is round studs, right? That's the big thing. It's yeah. I think it's round tiles. No, it's they're studs. Tiles. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, it's tiles. It's no, tiles. they're studs. I promise you, I'm looking. Oh, at oh, oh. the Beatles one is is tiles, but the uh, the Iron Man one is is studs. Well, there you go. I find it strange that they're doing this so soon after doing just like the helmet things, because I feel like that's the same person buying it. But I could be wrong. Yeah, oh, I the don't bus? really know how big it is. Well, you're, you're right, Chris. It was 18 plus. I'm looking at it now. It is 18 plus. That's for certain. Which, what was the previous high rank? It was 16 plus, right? It's like so the uh, creator expert sets were, and some of the technic was labeled as 16 plus. I think was the highest that the age rating had ever gone. And now they're just like, a, so an 18 year old and a 16 year old could build the same amount of Lego, but let's call it 18 plus so adults think that uh, we have them in mind. <laughs> And it's maybe like probably been, the easiest thing to do too. Yeah, I, I think they've just been building up to, yeah. ooh, ooh, to selling to adults more targeted. You know, just over time, approaching that market on their packaging and with their product. Are we gonna, are we gonna see some sort of strange uh, adolescent? Backlash from the child army saying, got, "How can you make Legos that aren't for me?" I got a picture of the plate. He's it's, gone. He's gone deep into the machine. It's uh, shoot, where was it? Take that, Ralph. Lost it. You didn't go yeah, shit. It's nine of these. Mm. What? All right. So, how many studs is that? Uh, is that six, sixteen. So sixteen. 16. Times three, that's fucking And they have 48. technicals aplenty on the side. They can 48. snap all those together. By oh, that means these there. things are coming with friction pins in them, too. That, like that's how you hang it on the wall. Like, that goes into the plate. Oh, new, oh is wow. that a new piece? All right, so there's no base plate about it, because I'm sure base plates would be too floppy. There ain't no yeah. base yeah. plate about it, is what I always say. Build up the sides. And then there's the big boy. Oh, oh shit. I, the Duke. I was the, wondering. The I saw that fucking thing and I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and I now realize they did give the, us a double that the, fucking that's separator. That's the Ben Swolo of brick separators. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> That'll rip Keep through a shirt nine. on, please, brick separator. That'll rip through a nine by nine in 15 seconds. <laughs> you know, I guess, you know, until you're fucking with the tiles. You know, it's one thing to separate studs, but to fucking pop off tiles with that fucking flipper is like you're going to be launching them. You might as well put it in a garbage bag and do it or a grocery bag at least, you know, it like why would you want that if you couldn't do all four? You know what I mean? Like RuPaul. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. kidding. Uh, I just I don't know. Like you you should like like clearly they're even telling you like, yeah, you should use you should do all four. Give us all your money. Pop art. Give us all. That's 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 uh that's six hundred dollars. So, oh, so you build said, and the instructions. You do each, you do each plate, and then you put them together. It looks yeah. like yeah. just for a little another added level of construction and making you feel like you did something that uh, it ain't over yet. No one else can do. Kippy. Kippy. So, <laughs> I, I've all I've often said. I'm reading a book with the Beatles on the wall next to me. <laughs> no, he's, li- no, he's looking at the album cover while listening to the music, I think. Oh, yeah. No, you're you're 100% right. Oh, I know I'm 100% right. <laughs> I already looked at that picture, Kenny. So I- I've often said that if you're going to buy a stock set and just put it on the shelf forever, you might as well have a... Model. A poster of that thing, like a two dimensional <laughs> representation of it. Just like if, if it's only going to be right there, then just get a picture of it and put it on the wall. You're having the same effect. This, Ooh, really? this actually is a picture. <laughs> like you could, you could have 
a poster of that. I don't understand what makes it any better that it's Lego. Like, it's you see, slightly you see, more this, you see this Warhol right here? Nope, that's not an original Warhol. It's Lego. You know what I made it out of? I made it out of Lego. Because you following the exact instructions because I could never do that on my own. Did, did you guys know that each of these come with a soundtrack, included soundtrack as well? What is the soundtrack of Iron Man? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Let me go back to it. Or Mar- <laughs> It's got Marilyn Monroe's unrecorded hits. As <laughs> 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 is, is part of this new Lego building experience, listen to the included soundtrack for stories and cool details about the set as you build. Finish the project with a Marvel Studios. Uh, yeah. So each one has a, comes Hello, with a sound plate. this is Nicholas. I designed this set in, in Biloon and I forget where the joke was going. Oh, <laughs> I, I simply put the photo, the best photo I could find from Maxence changing right now. Sit, listen to it from Google Images, large image search, if not extra large. I put it in a free software that uh, you can't have it. It's our software. And it said, hey, here it is. Dot matrix done. So, so the, uh, the, Beatles, the Beatles one actually comes with a soundtrack. Uh, Oh yeah, it, they're just talking about the the subject matter of of the of the art that you build instead of like so they would be talking about Marilyn Monroe or talking about you know Iron Man or talking about the band here. What are they uh, gonna say about Marilyn Monroe? She's an actress. And then her she dress is. got blown up, and everyone wants to be here for Halloween. That's the the end. <laughs> she had sex with the president. <laughs> you know that lady with the dress that got blown up? Yeah, that one. You're building it right now. She's in yeah. four different colors. Her dress is blown up, but it's only her face in this picture. What happens when like you've built one ninth of the thing and the soundtrack's over and you're like, Am I slow? Or is there just not a lot of interest here? <laughs> that's well, all right, so we're shitting on it pretty hard, but that that's an interesting concept to to include like audio accompaniment with the product that they're offering the 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 uh, the experience that they're offering of a build it swear a lot on the audio and that's why it's, it's pressed easy. on lego vinyl yeah. i wonder i wonder how they're gonna mark mark that in bricklink for the soundtrack <laughs> is it physical it's gotta be it's got it it's included does it gotta be it could oh, be a download I, code. It could download take code. you to a link. It could be a fucking QR code scan. <laughs> you buy it on Brick and it's like, if you buy this item, I'm going to send you the code. <laughs> <laughs> Free- <Yeah. laughs> watch, watch how cheap the download gets and how quickly it gets there. We're fighting it down to like 22 cents for a download code. <laughs> there you go. I got all four, and I didn't buy any of the sets, and it cost me under a dollar. <laughs> Free shipping. <laughs> Free soundtracks. Yeah, what happens when, when it's a digital download, and, and Bricklink's like, nope, it's got to have a weight and a volume. What's the weight and the volume? <laughs> a thousand and a thousand. <laughs> oh, 180 grams, and uh, that's a joke for Matt. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> you know, the like volume, the volume's eleven, and the uh, the I weight is one hundred eighty grams. Yeah, I don't think the part at value is going to be very good if you're looking no. at a lot of penny parts. Like, penny so studs. I I, w- I was talking at Vicky about how those pieces are already real cheap, yeah. And now you're just throwing that many more out there. The part at values are an ever declining number. Yeah, it might be. So it's like three thousand pieces and one hundred and twenty bucks. So it's like three, four cents a piece as is. Yeah. But those numbers are only going to go down and it's going to reach a point where. At three cents a piece, it's, it's only good. worth 90 bucks. Like, it's, yeah, it's like it's not a good part out. No. And can't be. I wonder but how I, those wait. parts in okay. any other sets are going to are going to bring Lose down value. the part of values of those sets. The studs yeah. that is. I like the base plate. Well, it's not a base plate. I want the, those are somehow the nine of those is are gonna be what carries these sets. Right. I wonder if they're gonna use them 
in, in other ways. Like like they're large enough that they could be like uh like a, a less expensive kind of modular if they wanted to. Well, yeah, we uh, saw the um we saw the sixteen by sixteen plate essentially replace base plates in a lot of I, sets. I've got now we might to see this sixteen by sixteen brick replace the plates and adds in the uh the modular functionality with the technic pinholes on every side. You can snap them all together. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so here's something, and maybe it hasn't been seen, or maybe Lego's bringing it. Think about the uh, huh? Right, Kenny, bringing the beef. Bringing Bring. the beef. Maybe yeah. Lego's bringing the beef. Um, what's stopping you from buying the Beetle set, hundred fifty dollars, and making your own portrait? Nothing. Same software. You said it's free. Yeah. Put in six colors or however many colors. Bing, bang, boom. I bet there's enough pieces in that fucking box that you can make a picture yourself at home and not have to pay the exorbitant custom fees of, like, Lego Company and their... Or they're, um, they have that, like, uh, that photo booth at some of the flagship stores where you... Yeah. It, it'll, um, for the for $800, it'll spit out a black and white photo of you in studs. Yeah, well... Just that's... loose. Just, they come out loose like you won the slot <laughs> machine. $800? Is it? <laughs> ah! No, it's 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 a lot of money for a black and white like thirty two by thirty two right. stud pile of of you mm. in an unflattering booth. Does uh, Bricklick not have the the mosaic uh, tool anymore? Looks like they took it down. What was the mosaic tool? You uploaded a, a picture and it figured out like which uh, what parts. It would you would need to be able to make that on a flat surface. When did that launch? I feel like did that launch like right before four. something more important, and then it just kind of got swept under the rug. Pretty much, yeah. About three or four years ago, it was was like, launched. Uh, and it three didn't days really... before the eightfold designer program. No, a couple of years before that, actually. But it like really never took off because it was like it was kind of crappy. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, uploaded nope. this photo and it like was like this worst rendering ever and then like the the price to get all the pieces was really high. So the one we used to use at the convention was called Photo Bricks and it's for uh for Mac. Um and you can it, it's it's made for Lego in that you can it, it's using plates you can turn on or off any Lego color and any Lego plate size. And you can set the dimensions of the picture you want. And you just you pick, you import any photo you want. And it'll say, all right, here it is. Here's all the parts. You know, here's the, the part list you need. And then you can hover over any portion of it. And it'll show you, uh, it'll outline each piece that it is laid down to make that mosaic. And um, you can change like, the cost of it by toggling on and off different colors. So say, oh, that color is too expensive. But if we turn that off, it'll snap to the next closest color. And it still looks fine. But those pieces are less expensive. And is free software. I'm sure there's other ones. That's just the one we used. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a square picture myself. I'm going to get the image early. Then I'm going to order the Beatles thing. I'm going to build a portrait of myself. And then when I'm bored, I'll be like, what will I look at like without a mustache? And I'll just pull off my mustache. And... <laughs> what will I look like with John <laughs> Lennon glasses? <laughs> if I can put it back on. And then I can put my favorite Lego characters. I can even put Lego tape over it. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's compatible. Because <laughs> it's in the system. The system. <laughs> so you know what I love about talking about mosaics is that we thought it was a bullshit topic and we just talked about it for like 25 minutes. So that's solid. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We had something to say about mosaics. Hey, you know, it's interesting. Uh, do we like the product? No. Does it have potential? Yes. Is it worth money? No. Uh, I think we drudged through that. I think you but, decided on the does it have potential? Yes. Too quickly. <laughs> Well, I think it does if you want to make it have potential. But if you just want to build it, like it has potential. If you like Iron Man, it has potential to entertain you. Well, you and I mean, with the new fancy brick separator, you'll be fucking popping those studies off like no tomorrow. <laughs> so it wouldn't do take long. Do you think long. that people are going to just? buy as many as it takes to do the whole lineup of whatever the Honestly, subject matter is. Honestly, that's exactly why this 
product's brilliant because they know well, it's not that they could have made want... a set. It's not that they could have made a set that's all four Beatles in one package. It'd be more expensive than anyone wants to buy. But if you make it four individual ones, they're like, oh, just get one every month, something like that. Yeah, then exactly, then... some people might wait for the clearance. Risk <laughs> it for the biscuit. Okay, clearance topic change. Go, Ralph. What's wrong with all the clearance, Ralph? What's your problem with clearance? I can't find any. That's my problem with it. It seems like uh, seems like this coronavirus seems to have impacted this year's clearance in Walmart. Um, just doesn't, can't seem to find anything. Um, the Brickling sellers that I've been talking to as well just aren't finding anything as well. Maybe Kohl's has the best best clearance, but uh, Walmart well, definitely is not. To like... 50% on some stuff, but it's just more Lego Movie 2 sets. Yeah, yeah. Do you really want any more? I mean, no. I did. I I just bought like 14 more Sistar Starships <laughs> because, well, why the hell not? I've got like 30 of them for part out now. <laughs> Didn't you find Lego Movie 1 sets too? That was at uh, Tuesday morning. Oh, right. Which is a, a store that you know you... that there's one near you, but you were never quite sure that there were any others in the world. <laughs> I always drove by it and going, but it's Thursday afternoon. How the hell can I can they be open? That's that's full dad level right there. <laughs> oh, we can't go. <laughs> oh god. That's full dad level. That's great. Yeah, you, you walk you wait right for the that. kids to say, "Can we go on a Tuesday morning?" You'll be like, "It's nine days away," and it's like, "That's impossible, Dad." <laughs> nine. <laughs> More than seven makes it funnier. <laughs> More than six. So, makes it... so these are my tips on like dad comedy could be so much better. Obviously, like <laughs> step it up. Yeah, nine why nine days? days? Well, it's the end of the month. So yeah, yeah I, a, I found some Lego fun. Movie one sets at Tuesday morning, but apparently uh, everyone has found that same set at all of their Tuesday mornings, and it's not as big a deal as it seems. It was just interesting to find a 2014 set at less than MSRP on the shelf in 2020. The novelty of it led me to buy four of them. I don't know that I'm ever going to be able to flip four of them, but I'll. But it's, it's, they're fine. They're fine. They're sitting on the shelf. It's fine. Here they are. Still haven't sold any? No. no. There's there's like 600 different uh, set SKUs in my store. So it's, oh. it's it's hard to like see everything that is in the store at, during one visit. It's going to take the person who's looking for that kind of thing to unearth it. A couple visits. Unless I like throw it in everybody's face as soon as they walk in. Did you see this? Old set? I, I think, th I think though, like, th there's a bigger bigger thing to talk about, though. You know, like, yeah, I can't find find any clearance, but the the shelves at Walmart, most of the Walmarts that I see are, are fairly b bare, right? Like, there's just the leftovers that, are, that nobody wants. Unless we're talking about the sets they bulked up on for Black Friday... The, uh, the Ninjago set, the uh, the Magma Molten Man, whatever set from Spider Man, yeah. and the one of the Hidden Side sets, they've got mm -hmm. dozens of those still. Not going to drop the price. If they do, yeah. I'll be all over. But they're not they're not dropping it. It's been months. I, saw, I think I, people are just yeah. buying everything up and. They're not waiting for a sale, and Walmart's smart enough to say, if we don't have to discount it, let's not discount it. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that that's one way of looking at it. The other way is like, is is production levels so so far down that like they they have a no into something that hey, we might not get a lot of sets coming in, so let's keep our shelves as as full as we can by not marking down the sets that we have. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, usually August 1st is the next wave, right? Or is it September 1st? I, or sure? I, I try not to pay too close attention when waves don't talk about hit. The second I, wave. I think they, uh, they, you know, you don't talk about the third impact, but uh, I don't, I don't know that they really stick to a schedule year after year like that. They might, 
I've never really lined up the dots like that. Cool. Yeah. I remember August. I remember in years previous it was like August first, but it looks like this year might be September first, right? Because you got the uh you got the uh, Mandalorian uh Razor Crest coming out then with the with the other Star Wars things. These uh Lego art things that we just looked at are coming out September first. So like maybe there isn't a August first wave coming out and everything is coming out later. So maybe Maybe the clearance is pushed back, and all. there's so many different things you can be think, looking at. That apparently Michaels also has clearance. Um, yeah, but not all Michaels. Uh, so interesting story. Uh, at some point, Michaels decided. I don't know Boy. if Lego decided or Michaels decided that like, hey, we should stock Lego. It makes total sense. So it's an uh, they have they have a Lego section. Art is an activity and. So it was Lego. So hey, kids, you like art where you have to follow the instructions and There's put it colors. on the shelf forever. And Star Wars. Paint by number. Um, it's Star like three D paint by number. Yeah. It's Puzz three D. I have uh, Puzz three D the other day. He's Puzz building a Robo Guardian. Is that toy <laughs> that you find in the unfinished basement of the house that you just moved into that was abandoned by the previous owner? The toy <laughs> is not the house. Kenny's making a Robo Guardian out of Puzz 3D <laughs> <laughs> to complete his collection to round it out. But apparently, one of the Michaels around here, a friend of mine, went there looking, and they walked all around. They couldn't find a Lego section. They asked somebody, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we we got rid of that. We stopped trying to sell Lego." <laughs> so I, I wouldn't have thought that was up to a uh, buy store discretion, but. This Michaels apparently already said, "Why did we even try to sell Lego? We should stick to like buttons and shit, whatever it is we sell. Buttons and beads. Buttons. Beads. Somewhere someone's like, Michaels has a lot of great things to offer. <laughs> we sell way more than buttons and beads. <laughs> I can pull my son in here. He used to work there for a while." Schmeggles. I know. Whenever I need to go somewhere to find like unfinished wood, wood block letters <laughs> that maybe I'm gonna paint, maybe I'm not. That's you my number one Walmart spot too. right there. Yeah. Like, hey, you want some plywood that we cut into letters? We got it. Oh, you Michaels. know what? Fucking Michaels drives anyway, me crazy. They have they'll clearance. have a they'll have a jar of corks, corks, corks. Like corks for fucking wine. Because they're for art, they're suddenly valuable to so the ten dollars for twenty-five corks. It's crazy. They'll sell a rope. Just brown rope. Looks nice. Sure, it looks nice. But it is rope. We have made rope for centuries. There's no secret to making rope. It is not <laughs> difficult to make rope if you make rope. But at Michael's, rope is like, oh, my God, the rope. It's such nice rope. It's just fucking brown rope. And you'll get, like, a three-foot length. And it's, like, $18. It's, like, $6 a foot? I, it better be this thick. Like, <laughs> to hold up an aircraft for $6 a foot. Fuck. Anyways, <laughs> Michael's. Anyways, Michaels used oh, to be man. cool because they had coupons all the time, but now they've fucking I don't even go to Michaels anymore because they've declared like a the largest section of their stock, like their cheap shit. They've called it everyday value now, and coupons don't apply to it. So it's like we're done. I, and I don't know that they really need to push the coupons anymore because they they bought AC more, so like they their competition is means. way down. <laughs> like, do they really need to offer coupons anymore? Well, not when about everything about is Ford. everyday um, value. So I thought the Michael's topic. I thought the uh, I thought Coles getting Lego was kind of a stretch. Then again, they had Lego couple decades ago when they had more of a toy section than they have wow. in recent years. It's, it's like now chapters. they've got a toy section again. Chapters has a toy section as well. We'll, we'll they, agree. They carry toys. Okay. So they, they have Lego and it's like a fully branded Lego section and it is I want to say the lion's share of the toy section is the Lego section. It's big for, for compared to the toy section. Um, 
probably a bigger proportion than the toy section like at Target Lego versus the rest of the toys. Probably a bigger proportion. Yeah, like chapter um, the same. I thought it was strange when Coles got it. And it's like, okay, Coles, sure. That's another place I have to go keep in mind that maybe I'll find some Lego on sale, maybe. And then Michaels gets it. I'm like, look, I can't just add all these stores to my driving around. It's crazy. <laughs> is it is it good that there's more places to buy a Lego, or is it bad that there's more places to buy a Lego? I think it's. Well, I mean, if you're willing to miss a deal, it's you can just ignore those places. You could, in your heart, ignore those places. <laughs> I, I never seem to find like good deals at those places either, right? Like it's either they they don't match Walmart pricing, and so like wh- why even bother? Or the deals are like so you know uh, short that like you miss them before you even hear about them. You'll see it at, at like chapters, you'll see it go on sale, and it'll be like ten percent off, maybe fifteen. It's like and a then, target ten percent. Then you have to wait months and months and you see it go to like 20 and then eventually it'll hit maybe 40 but it takes months if it survives that long but like yeah chapter same thing it's like half their toy section is lego and then there's some weird toys and then it's just a couple rows of kids books or something and there's like a play area and shit like i think that brings up a a different conversation that we're not gonna have now but uh, and maybe Kenny can shed some light on it with how, how, how deep of a discount do you have to offer to really get people's attention? Cause I, I buy a lot of uh, Gunpla from four different U S distributed sellers online and three of them, three out of four of them have a standing 10% discount through affiliates. So you follow these people on YouTube or Instagram and they're always telling you to use their code and it's always good forever. So buying anything from these sites at full price is crazy. You you automatically get 10% just by using one of these people's codes. Mm -hmm. You get to know about them, but that's pretty simple to do. So one of the, one of the sites for two of the sites for 4th of July, I had a 10% like, announced banner sale like hey 10 percent off using this code and like it, it's always 10 percent off you've you've offered me nothing and now i'm gonna buy nothing it's like the story then, that's always going out of the business sites, kind of <laughs> uh, i like that uh that mealy's went out of business again i guess I, and now um i was actually hate- home store bought all of their locations i always something. Hate- i don't know it's it's all when a store has, uh, like, I think it's Hobby Lobby, they have a sign out front, and it says, as always, our furniture is 30% off. And I'm like, then it's not 30% off. That's just your regular, regular price. price. Call it 30% off to make people think that they're getting a deal. Like, that makes no sense to me. So, like, if there's a coupon available or something that some people don't know about, then, like, at least that's a thing. But, like, literally, it, like, everything's always this. It's like, okay. so it's just, what the fuck? Furniture, like, Furniture, I don't know if people know this. If you don't know this, if you buy furniture at regular price, you've lost the battle. And you will always lose the battle. Because furniture is worthless. And it doesn't cost what they sell it for. And it's all a fucking lie the entire industry. So don't buy furniture at regular price. <laughs> it doesn't matter how fucking nice it is. Just Agreed. It. Yeah. I so so one, one of these furniture. sites will have like a 15% off select items and i'll be browsing that shit for like a half hour trying to find some way to add up a cart that it's like a super great deal and i'll like buy some shit that i uh not that i don't need it but it's not an earth-shattering deal it's just like it's more than usual i gotta get it now yeah so i I just wonder like what you're saying that they have a 10 percent off on some Lego, and it's like, what what discount do they have to offer where it's really going to turn heads? 10% is like, even on Lego, it's like when you're looking at Lego, it's like people generally won't buy clearance unless they want the set until it's 30 or 40, right? Like, most people, unless, like if it's for a kid's birthday, yeah, they'll be like, I'll get the 20 sometimes, and it's insulting. Yeah, well, yeah, I find like, 
most places won't do over 20% off. Even when they're doing fucking buy one, get one 50, it's only 25%. Like, you know, like in the end, when you're matching maximum savings is 25% because it's based off the highest price item is regular price. And the next item is, you know, it sounds like a great deal, but it's, it's not like BOGO is a great, great sales pitch, you know, historically. Yeah. Well, if you talk about Toys R Us with the buy one, get one 50 off, like yeah. the prices are higher to begin with. So it's it's not a great deal. And, and Walmart, yeah. for the last couple of years, they, they haven't had any sets at like MSRP. Everything is this weird percentage off all the time at Walmart, which is not around. It's here. an interesting move. I don't know if it's like. I don't know if it's pressure mounting from other sellers of Lego because with Toys R Us gone, I I don't know who's really diminishing Walmart's Lego sales. Unless you count the fact that like Michaels Michaels. and Coles has it, but I don't think that's (laughs) Michaels is taking all the Lego money. Yeah. I think the Amazon's the only one competing with them right now. Sure. All right. That's, that makes sense. Um, and Amazon will basically, if anybody physical or online has a sale price on Lego, Amazon has that matched for the the, the duration of it. And but their their quantity limits are pretty low on how many you can get of any given thing, which is fine if you're just buying up one of every Lego set every year because you're a lunatic and. And you you have plans on where they're all going to go in your in your estate. In your estate. But if you're trying to part stuff out, I don't know that a limit of two on Amazon is helpful for anybody. Anyway, there's some interesting topics in there. Let us know what you think of those or which of the tangents that we may or may not have spurned. S- spurred? Not spurned. Um, and now? Let us know in the comments. Enter. Let us, know, let us know down in the comments. And now, now we're for enter, something completely different. Enter the Kenny Dome. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Kenny's like, what? What, what did <laughs> I do? Okay, <laughs> Kenny, tell us what we're doing. Tell us about the Kenny Dome. Are we, are we doing the thing? Yeah, we're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. Okay, so Chris and I thought it would be a fun exercise to look at all of the space sets that were uh, like uh, at, at the same scale or the same size, roughly uh, across uh, most of the lines, we we started with Futuron because classic space is just all over the place. And what we tried to do is we tried to take one from each, but I think we got a couple at the end because we just couldn't leave them out. So there might be like two from one theme in one category. I don't remember. But um, there, are, so, there's a few instances of that, but we just we didn't want to leave some things out. Yeah, if it was awesome, we're like it's got to be in there. But uh, so I think we've got three size spaceships. This is the small ship. We're starting with in the first the first thing we're head head to head is the small ships of all your classic space best small ship. Yes, it's, we went to, so we stopped at what 2003, 2005. We we went. No, we we stopped short of that. We went through the '90s. We uh, we did everything from Electron One through. We got Futuron. Uh, we got Futuron. I think Blacktron One was uh, slightly before Futuron, but either way, uh, what's the last one in the '90s? Is it Insectoids? Is it Roboforce? UFO was. It's just. Way. Okay, so it's it's everything up until, but not including Star Wars. As far as space goes, good. Um, we and stopped good. we stopped because there started to be conflict in sets. So mm-hmm. you would, have, you, if you had a medium-sized set, it would always have be maybe like a little bit smaller because they had the opposition in it, and you basically had two warring factions at the same time. So uh, it would be a little bit tough to to you know wh- which ones to take. So uh, okay. whether it's right or wrong, that's what we did. Are we just looking at airborne ships? Spaceborne, yes, yes. spaceborne, yes. and airborne. This, this category is little ship. Little. So, um, Kenny, you always remember the names of the sets better than I do. So oh. we got one on the left and one on the right, and there's 
How many in this category? Uh, there's 12 in this category. So one of them's going to move on and face a new opponent. Oh, we're, we're just head to head. And one of them's going to. Good enough. Yeah, it's elimination. Yeah, it's a <laughs> sudden death. Come, sudden death every every bout. Here we go. All right, so I remember the one on the right is the Galactic Chief, I believe. You put me on the spot here. And the one on the left is just like the, the twin wing fly. Uh, it's, no, Meteor Monitor. Meteor Monitor. Okay, I'm thinking of something else. So try to ignore the minifigs. You can't acknowledge minifigs in this. Is that a good house rule to set now? I think you kind of can. I think you can look at them. I don't think I don't think it's going to affect it much, though, to be honest. All right. I just all right. So, we'll see. I'm going to throw some shade. Um, this is the Blacktron One set that came out a year later than Blacktron One, so it has white in it instead of like yellow or gray or anything like that. Yeah, and a front to Blacktron. But it's got Dwayne the Blacktron Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne the Black Tronson. <laughs> <laughs> there was two, but I always forget what the other configuration of his name that I made was. <laughs> was it just Dwayne the Blacktron Johnson? I think Dwayne there's Blacktron the Black Johnson Tronson? and Black Johnson. Yeah, yeah, that makes the most sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know, so okay. Good. So looking at these ships, I, I like that they're different. Um, I mean, one is a bit more build heavy, I guess, and maybe not. I just like these wings flap. Like you could change the angle of these wings. Yeah. Which is a nice little feature. Um, you know, I think the Space Police one could benefit from like a tail fin. It's kind of just lacking at the back end there. You know, it looks like there's room for something, but nothing ever happened. It's got yeah, that I'm little finished. tail fin there, like sticking up at the top. It's hard well, to see yeah, something just, on top of it. Not even spoiler, like a tile or anything a on top. A spoiler, yeah, yeah. Or even lights or whatever, you know, anything. Um, but white on no. Blacktron, you know, like, what do you say? So let's let's try not to take too long doing this. Yeah, let's um, say, okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, I vote for Space Police. Matt? Blacktron. Kenny? I'm, uh, I'm going to go Space Police on this one, surprisingly. That's the windscreen. It feels, it feels complete. Yeah, I'm going to go with Space Police just because I have it. That's good enough. All right, you got me super scared there about a tiebreaker because I have no plan for that. <laughs> I, asked, I asked Chris before the show, what, what is Oh, the, uh... it's not. It's okay. It, it just has to keep going. Oh, I thought we were doing this week over week. Steve, then... is this a flying ship? Or well, no, is we're doing this, this category. We're doing uh, this ship. Okay, okay. All right, so this There's is Explorians. 12 in here. Explorians is the Hovertron. Hovertron. You see, this isn't a flying ship. This is a ground vehicle. So I think it's eliminated it, already. Rover. We, it we ain't didn't... got no wheels. Yeah. It, it says it's a Hovertron. To hover, you require a fucking physical mass underneath you. Well, who's who's to say that the Space Police one can leave the atmosphere? Maybe it's just on a planet, but it can't get far away. Ah, it can even still fly the through the air. It can still fly through the air. Yeah, a hovercraft can't fly. Fact. I'm still going uh, Space Police on this one, though. Yeah, me too, because the other one doesn't even go in the air. Space Police is irrelevant. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yes, I would have won Space Police, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're talking. All right, was it a beta buzzer? Is that what it's called? Oh, the beta male buzzer. <laughs> the beta male. <laughs> I love it. Is that his head that's, like, neon yeah. green? Yeah. yeah, and it's got helmet. a crystal, yeah. and it's got a laser, and it's got fucking bug wings, and it's got the fucking t uh, the uh, posable bug wings fully. Got a lot more going on. It definitely. Oh yeah. No windscreen. His face is the Kenny windscreen. Kenny loves windscreens. I oh, know. Windscreens. I feel like this is going to be a problem moving forward. I know it's going to win <laughs> this for me, so like I don't even care about these two because the one I okay the one space is, police Kenny. Uh, what, what's the ship called? The bug? The beta buzzer. I'm going. Beta I'm going beta buzzer. <laughs> Let's go beta buzzer. Oh shit! Oh shit, Ralph. Yeah, space police. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! What are we? <laughs> Double elimination. They're both out. Let's go. <laughs> both out. <laughs> we, can, I mean, we can. We can certainly do something like that where we come back to one of them. No, they're both out at this point. They're not good enough to win. They're not good enough to win. <laughs> fact i, I kind of like that plan yeah 
<laughs> then nothing we do needs to be like, oh yeah, but look at that fucking beauty. Like two of my favorites next to each other. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry about your favorite on the left, but get a twin wing <laughs> spoiler and the other guy. The other guys. Supernova two is gonna win, by the way. Just saying. Uh, it's that's definitely Supernova two on the right. Supernova two. Supernova two all the way. That thing's brilliant. Yeah, I'm going with that one. Epitome of. Small I don't shit. like either, but I'm gonna have to go with Supernova two. You know what I like about it? The fucking it, the the visor. The windscreen locks down nice on that uh, with yeah, that piece there. Like with, almost illegal there. I like that a lot, and I I like the mix of like what we see as like speeders now in Star Wars and like a craft, a rocket craft. I, I think it's fucking cool. What's that? What's that color? What's that trans color? Is that trans neon yellow or green? Trans neon green. Green. green? Yeah, I love that color. It yeah. just reminds me of like Lego and when I was a kid. Yeah, it's, it's one everywhere. of my favorite. Like that and trans neon orange were my favorites to see in a bin. I'd be like, oh, I guess we're building a spaceship because there's a windscreen. Might see trans neon orange coming up. Oh, that thing mm. has fucking skis, motherfuckers. Okay, so, so <laughs> it's we, one of the categories is rover, which has wheels, and okay. then the other one is ship. So the the okay. hovertron, the celestial sled here, they fall under the ship. Celestial sled, I love the name. I love I love it too. It's fucking sorry, cool. Kenny. I'm going ice planet. I'm <laughs> going. To, ah, fuck. That's a nice ice planet ship. It is Matt, Matt transparent orange chainsaw? <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Does it have trans neon uh, skis on it too? On the back? No, they're they're white. Every set has the trans neon uh, orange skis for the minifigure, yeah. Oh, yeah, for the minifigure, yeah. Oh, but yeah. The, the big skis down here are Technic figure skis. And yeah, 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 okay, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm going Ice Planet, man. It's dope. I love the dish. I love the colors. Ralph. I can imagine it flies. <laughs> I'm Ralph going... can either say Ice Planet and it moves on, or you could say Space Police and then both of them fail. <laughs> Space Police isn't even up here, is it? <laughs> Blacktron, Blacktron Two. Yeah, I'm going no, with Blacktron, Blacktron Two. Blacktron Two is basically the police that are sanctioned. I, I still like the say? trans neon green better than the. You know, the neon at the well. end, if we have a bunch of double eliminations, we'll just pick our favorite out of the eliminated to put up against who's left at the end to make sure yeah. we fucking yeah. Yeah, I'm going. I'm sticking with uh, sticking with Supernova Two. Okay, so they're both eliminated, and we move on to the. Oh, you know, these are good. I fucking like the uh, yeah. the Spirius, or is that Emtron? That's my uh, uh, there. Yeah, the Spirius uh, Saucer Scout. I love that and thing. And the the V Wing Fighter. I love Not how the guy's laying Star down. Wars, but... He's yeah. like laying down in a circular ship. It's like just it's a barf chamber. Like lose his point <laughs> for the name. The V Wing Fighter is a bad name. I'm going Saucer Scout. That thing is classic. I like a saucy scout. scout. Sausage scout. <laughs> Look at the sausage. Yeah, sausage. Sausage, sausage scout. Sausage. Jesus. Sausage. Now I, all I want to say is, oh sausage. my god, get the fuck out of here! Look yeah. This what is this called? The the fly, the house fly. Fly. So I'm uh, I'm pretty sure these can tuck underneath, just like the space yeah. police set. Yeah, it lifts up and then they can fold in. That's uh, fucking hysterical. That auxiliary patroller. It's a fly. It also has this uh, great connection right here. Yep, yeah. it's the same thing the Blacktron one does. It's got a really bad blind spot right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He's, he's always attacking you at like a, a three-quarter angle. You know, yeah. you know, spacecrafts, uh, windshields are a weakness. So they should have none, and it should all just be surveillance space. And, and, and instrumentation that tells you where people are. Because it's, it's just true, a man. The bridge of any Covenant ship is right in the middle. How did they win at the end of the fucking Rise of the Ray Skywalker? They fucking shot the windows. They blew it up. There's all the guys who were in charge in that big bubble on top of the ship. Uh, Get him. Okay, so, Spirius? Yes. Oh, Sausage. fuck yeah. Sausage, go. Yep. Oh, oh. Kenny. Oh fuck! So many wings. What is this fucking vector detector? What is yeah, this? That's a, that is the um, uh, yeah, vector detector. I was gonna say something. Vector detector, Jimmy I Six Wings is what I call this. I just took a picture of. 
<laughs> the windscreen on it actually gets locked by those little uh, red clips there. They At the back? It. They swing out. Yeah, they swing Is out. Is Chris right. just still laughing about Jimmy's six wings? <laughs> I know. I have to find my moment. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I have to find my moment where no one's talking so like I can get in there. So I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> you got it, Kenny. You got it, baby. Uh, Spireus. Spireus. Which one's that one? The one on the right? Back to the left. Spires on the left. Sausage, sausage scout still. I'm sticking with the sausage man. I want to go with the one on the right. I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, saucer scout again. I, I, right, I check. oh, look at that, Mtron. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. So this is a little bit bigger than the others, but it, it is like the most flushed out looking small ship, and maybe it gets its fucking credit from being bigger. It you is longer. What? But it's not wider. I think this is the second. No, this might be the oldest set in this lineup too. Leave it at least one. It's is like a, great a ship. Are there like a jail at the back there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you can like discount the fact that it has more pieces than any other sets because it has a whole prison pod on the back. You take but that it's still off. It's a ship. It's still a one-person craft with the storage bay. Yeah. It's Justification, basically... and those right. wings, those wings can rotate there at the on the side. They uh, they yeah. fold and go underneath the uh, the panels, they or they go the straight out. They do the same thing that the Futron one does, but they do it better. But they do it better. Yeah, and it's like the same build too. It's the same exact build, except, the except it doesn't look oh like God. horse shit. <laughs> They're almost identical pieces too. It's very close. Yeah. it's a dope ship. Um, what is this called? The Enforcer. Space Police one. It's wait, what is it? It's the it. one that Carter rebuilt. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. Um, that one is the Galactic Ooh. Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper? Galactic Peacekeeper. The Imprisonator. Um, <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna go with the Imprisonator. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I've got to as well. Uh, it's a sweep. Clean Sorry, sweep. Spirus. <laughs> Sorry, sausage scoop. <laughs> that's that's the end of the lineup. So okay, you want so that we gotta we, we get we gotta pick out our favorite, which might have been. Let's hit the folder, or just wick through there. Okay, so sled scout, I think. So, yeah, what got a tie? Celestial sled and supernova so, two. Yeah, supernova yeah, two. Celestial, celestial sled scout. and supernova two got a tie, and then. Most. I feel. What like else was it that tied? The insectoid one, maybe, or. I don't think so. Insectoid and let's just do with the uh and the, the, the first planned. space police one. Oh yeah, it was space police two and uh what did that go up against that we couldn't decide? I thought it was the insectoid one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. So I don't know. I, no, yeah, that one. It wasn't. I don't think either of those are in the running at the end though. Anyways, let's just look at the fucking Blacktron, Ice Planet, and Space Police. I say uh, so like this. Let's decide between these two. Blacktron. I'll go Blacktron. It's flying to your point. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Okay, so, so between we're... these two, I think, yeah. This yeah, is I, I like Space Police. Blacktron. Space Police. Space Police. God damn. There <laughs> it is. Penny <laughs> Dome. Advantage. Six, it's so much bigger. 6886. Eight, it did have an it's advantage. It's also so much better and older. Yeah. Now, what would we have done if that was a tie? It has over three times the parts. Space Police. Does it? Fight. Yeah, the Supernova yeah, 2. Yeah, but it also has five times the coolness. And yeah, the coolness. The, parts, the Space Police had 109 parts. Kenny, are you willing to call this a medium ship? The Space Police? Yeah. I, I'd say it'd be medium, yeah, almost. Really? Oh, man, I was going to Isn't there another that. one that fell into that? And that's why it's not... <laughs> They have the SP Striker that is medium. That's 218 parts. And how many pieces is this? 109. Well, fuck, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a small ship. I'm sorry. It's a hundred. It's under 150. We're we're. It's a small ship. It is by far the largest out of that bracket. I didn't realize. And it won because it's the strongest. Also so the there best. There you go. <laughs> also the best. It's also the best. So there you go, Lego. It's got 41 parts. You know All what? All right, like, man. It's a good it's ship. A ship. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not discounting it at all. I really do like it. Yeah. And it's part of the whole modular thing where that that uh, that that jail can go to all the other sets. Like you move it around. Exactly. I wonder uh, all the jail cells across all the sets. Can they all fit on the isolation lockup base at the same time? Because that thing comes with like one cell, <laughs> but several holders. It has. I think it comes with two cells. There's two cell holders on the sides, uh, and there's the the thing that raises them up. Um, and I think you can fit some on in the middle here. Hold on, let me pull up a picture. It's in the other room, but like I, I only have a few cells, so um, you can fit three on the top, all at once. Okay, I guess it only does come with one. And then the little ship can hold one. The little like the little ship can hold one. Okay, so four. If it can hold four one. at once, yeah. Which is you cool can... that like you can, if you bought the whole lineup, you could uh, you could make use of all those cells in many ways. Yes, and no, that's... Space Police One is is great. It's a it's a great Bla Blacktron One didn't have a good small ship, so it couldn't really compete in this category. Yeah, that was by far the small. No UFOs, uh, not UFO. Uni uh, Unitron and Roboforce are tiny too. Blacktron One has has six six sets. So a little preview of some of the other ones. We might not do this every week. We'll see, but there's Next time on Kenny Dome. <laughs> there's a Rover? little ship, medium ship, big ship, and then we have rovers, bases, little rover, medium rover, and big rover. Oh, shout out to big rover. We've got little walker and big walker, oh, just nice. with legs, and then base. Oh, wait, is Robo Guardian a rover? <laughs> I think he's a rover. No, it's a big walker. That oh, that was a that was but, a discussion, right? But Kenny? he's a big roller, though. I don't remember, he's a big roller. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll send in roller. Send in roller. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't even a quote. And I think I think <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It's not. <laughs> well, so... <laughs> I think the best. I think the most defining. Uh, the defining category is going to be medium ship. All right. Hot take you heard right it here first. We'll do large, then Ken medium. Kenny has stated that uh, medium ships are what really exemplified each. Kenny only fucks with uh, medium of ships. Medium space. Are we doing base too? Yep. Best base? Yeah, yeah. base. So it's so small, medium, and large for uh, rovers and ships, uh, small and large for walkers. I'd like, to, I, I'd like to. I'd like to. I want a, a a contending factor in base to be security and <laughs> and functionality. I don't want to look at coolness only. I gotta understand what they're doing at this base and whether they're doing it efficiently. Uh, there's I'm some inspecting. real whack bases. Yeah, there's some whack whack bases. The base I will be passing thought across the board. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be funny. <laughs> Like what are they even doing? Well, I'm glad you guys liked it. It was just uh, Kenny and I talking about how we both Lego space, and then it's like, why don't we just look at every photo of every space set right now together? Yeah. And oh, oh wait, this could be a topic later. Yeah, it started with just talking, and then we started looking at them all, and then putting them in files. So it was like, well, I guess this is a thing now. The show that wasn't. I think. We kind of made up for the uh, the ties pretty well with just like saying, "All right, we'll keep moving. We'll come back to it." Yeah, no, I like that better than the bracket. You're just going at it. You're just having them go at it. And I think I think it got honestly, down to the last, it's the, last, the best ones. It it's majority uh, laziness that I didn't come up with some sort of formalized bracket for these. No, that's perfect. Like, hey, yeah, rapid it's, fire. I like the rapid. I just thought. If I, I was like, I could make all these like two in one slides and then have all the eventualities of no. like who's going to win and what's going forward, or I could just kind of toggle back and forth between two windows at once. It's what, basically hot or not with Lego sets. Yeah, exactly. Swipe yeah. right, swipe left. 
Brick Tinder. Brick Tinder. <laughs> you know there's a there's an Instagram account with that name. You know this exists. Mock. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, looking into it. Looking into it. Brick Tinder. We'll we'll come up with a better name for it next week, obviously, than Candy Dome, and it will be something to do with. I think we could just call it Brick Tinder. <laughs> yes, yeah, right or left. I think we call it s- Space Tinder. <laughs> Till the cease and desist letter comes. So, and this could uh, this could apply to other themes, kind of, maybe in the future. Yeah, it could. It'd have to be archetypical themes. Like we could, we could definitely do it for Castle. Talked about Castle. I don't, I don't know that it would work for pirates. Yeah. And like town has been going for eighty years, so we can't really do it with that. But no. you, you could do things within it, like uh, police lines but it might be a little bit muddy so it, there's there's a police station every year forever it would be tough exactly yeah so no, i think it's pretty unique to only a couple a couple themes cool all right i'm happy well with that being said next week best wagon <laughs> i think we'll do uh i think we'll do little rover next sure. just gonna you know, work our way up the size wise i'm liking that I think medium so, rover uh, is going to have to have it out with best medium ship at some point. That's something we hadn't thought about. Is like, do you put the winner of little ship up against the winner little of rover. something else? It's not a bad idea. I I vote that we don't do big rover until I actually get to build the big rover, and I'm I'm hoping I get it soon. <laughs> is he, one you is he in putting... Germany and in Canada or something? Yeah, I bought two of them because I was waiting for the other one to come. And I'm de- I've been there, man. And you still haven't gotten either one yet? No, it's been two months on the first one, and I'm like, come on, man. He's got full, like, good feedback, and I'm like, but where is it? But where's my shit? I've got, well, like, a whack uh, tracking number, and I'm like, why? So, I don't know. We'll see. Get us out of here, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. We prepared you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks That's for watching it. Building Up to It. <laughs>